Hi, I'm Michael Dedimore. I'm the director of the Stevenson School of Biomedical Engineering. I joined OU in 2016, and our department moved into Gallagher Hall in 2019, and looking forward to years ahead. Biomedical engineering is an exciting degree. It gives you the opportunity to work on the technology side of healthcare. So when doctors, nurses, dentists have problems with treating patients and need a better way to, to help these people, then we can help with better technologies, whether it's with regard to cancer therapies or diagnostics, imaging, wheelchairs, uh, regenerative medicine. Biomedical engineers develop the technologies that help the patients and enables the physicians to better treat the patients. So there's some exciting areas of research going on within the Stevenson School of Biomedical Engineering. We have professors in our department whose teams are working on cancer nanomedicines to better fight cancers. We also have, my group is working on regenerative medicine to help out with spinal cord regeneration, bone and cartilage uh, regeneration, and even finding better ways to treat injuries or diseases of the TMJ, the jaw joint. We also have people working on things like neuromodulation and brain research and finding better ways to image and understand and, and help people deal with diseases of the brain. So our department is really strong in the areas of regenerative medicine and cancer and nanomedicine and, and brain and neural engineering research. Students in our department have the opportunity to learn from faculty who are world-class experts in areas including cancer and, and imaging and, and regenerative medicine and biomechanics and so forth. So throughout the curriculum, the students have the opportunity to take courses in, in topics such as biotransport and biomechanics and uh, BME fundamentals to get started and then a capstone design course at the end. So the Stevenson School of Biomedical Engineering finds its home in Gallagher Hall. Gallagher Hall is the newest addition to the engineering quad and opened in the fall of 2019. On the first floor in Gallagher Hall, you'll find our administrative office, you'll find classroom space, tutoring space, the diversity and inclusion office, and, and also our senior design areas, which are fascinating. Uh, that's where all the magic happens. That's where tools are made to help clinicians at the Health Sciences Center. In addition, then on the second floor of Gallagher Hall, we have our junior labs. So that's where the students learn a lot of the basic skills that they can later apply in the senior design course. And then on the third floor, that's where students have the opportunity to in get involved in the future of biomedical engineering. That's where the research happens. That's where the next ideas and next generation of, of technologies are developed. So our, our inaugural graduating class was in May of 2019. Those are the 22 first students who went out and uh, entered the, the world beyond biomedical engineering with their bachelor's degrees. Uh, that class and the following class have gone on to exciting careers, including starting in PhD programs in biomedical engineering around the country, uh, going to dental school, medical school, uh, going on to industry and working in biomedical technologies. So these students have, have chosen a variety of different career paths that include some of these traditional approaches, but also even we've had students that have gone on to law school as well. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with the biomedical, engin uh, biomedical engineering degree, but the one central theme that they all kind of have in common is related to healthcare. So we've had a number of our students who've been very successful in, in competing for national awards. In fact, we've had four students already win the National Goldwater Scholar uh, Award. And then in addition, we've had a student win the Astronaut Scholar Award and then also go on to win National Science Foundation fellowships. These prestigious national awards have been made possible by our students taking advantage of opportunities at the University of Oklahoma, including doing things like research and, and summer research opportunities at different places, including doing some research abroad, doing study abroad opportunities and so forth. And our students then really stand out on a national scale by taking advantage of those kinds of opportunities. Professor Moore teaches our biomedical engineering capstone design sequence. So the exciting part 
about this, that he goes out to the Health Sciences Center and to the regional bioscience industry and finds projects, ideas that people are working on to try to help patients. So it's not a problem out of a book or just a hypothetical kind of a problem that people are working on, our students, but instead it's something that's really going to hopefully have impact and, and help people out. So that's the exciting part when you have the first few years of the program to build you up to that point that you're able to work with a clinician or with somebody in industry to work on a problem that really needs our, our brilliant biomedical engineering minds to solve. That's a beautiful opportunity. And that really is the culminating experience of the biomedical engineering curriculum. Well, thank you for watching this video. We really hope we'll see you here at the Stevenson School of Biomedical Engineering at the University of Oklahoma.